I wanted to come to the Cotswolds for years. And here you are. Thank you, know, you, Andrew. Yeah. You've trained me well, you know? Yeah, right. We got Andrew to like what we got like, me so. Got British literature. Now this is now here. Okay. Thank you so much. I think that's great. Thank you. So it's the morning in Oxford and we're getting some breakfast. Today we are in Oxford for the morning and then we're going to head out to the Cotswolds in the afternoon. Oxford is a super old town established well over a thousand years ago and it is full of incredible architecture. So I hope you don't mind a little montage of some of the amazing things we saw there. still look like this. Oh my gosh. Okay, you're right. This is amazing. Perfect gold lettering. Oh. Yes. Cute. Garden shop. Got your seeds and your plants. Okay, England, you know how to do it right. Look how perfect. I love the paint with the hand lettering. Speciality sausage. Oh, so cute. Where did you get the furniture in this bookstore? They're useful. Look at those little tables and those pretty chairs. Andrew's a really big C.S. Lewis fan, so it was really special to be able to go to the church where C.S. Lewis gave some of his most famous sermons, including Andrew's favorite, The Weight of Glory. The church is so beautiful and has a really sacred atmosphere and it was really special to share it with Andrew. So right here, I don't remember the name of this college. All Souls College. All Souls? Yeah. All and everybody that works there is actually a professor. There are no students. No, they have no students. But this is where the term, the ivory tower, 
or ivory towers yeah, comes from these towers that are on this school. Pretty cool, huh? Yeah, it's pretty cool. It's just, it, it just becomes the hills. Look at that. I know, it's so pretty. I love all the pox stone on that second level there. But this, it looks like post and beam, but it's all stone. It's amazing. Look at all those faces. This is the Divinity School at Oxford, built in the late 14, mid to late 1400s. There's a scream. Look at this. Maybe it's just a door. Megan, so tell us what was filmed here. Harry Potter, this is the medical hall or whatever. The, the hospital wing. The hospital wing. See, look. See, there's the scene Harry Potter. A couple scenes. And then here are the same windows. It's so pretty though. Let's not to, let's also mention that this is, it's considered a masterpiece of late Gothic architecture. Mm -hmm. So there's that too. Between 1424 and 1483. Wow. Look at this. We're on our way to the Yorkshire Dales and we stopped at this little community shop selling local food and we bought some pies. I got a cheese and onion. I got a really good, you know, kind of British made yogurt. So delicious. We bought some biscuits or cookies. I don't know what that is. And the boys are coming out with some meat pies. Just so quaint. The weather's really nice. Really, really nice. You got the like a chicken. I got the spicy chicken chorizo. Mm, Try yummy. that out. Ham pie. What kind of meat pie did you get? So this is a meat and vegetable pie. The other one's just a steak and like pie. Mm. Let's see. Let's cut it open. Cut it in half. They're hand pies, so I think you can actually eat them with your hands. Oh, oh yeah. good point. We don't know how to do it here. I was just planning on eating. How was yours? We're not locals. Good. Look at that. It all stays in there. Mmm, delicious. Mmm. Really good. Mm. And it was only 16 pounds for everything. Andrew got two hand pies, yogurt, cookies. What is this? It's chocolate pound, chocolate with pound cake on the bottom. Mm. Look at those old cottages back there. They're so cute. Andrew, keep it All right, <laughs> we are now in the Cotswolds officially. We got here a little while ago. We've been kind of walking around town and also checking out our Airbnb. It's uh, beautiful so far. Every house, every building is built with this beautiful, let's see this, this stone. See that? Look at this. There's so many perfect little and sometimes big houses with this stone. I wanted to come to the Cotswolds for years. And here you are. Thank you, you Andrew. Yeah. You've trained me well, you yeah? know? Yeah, right. We got Andrew to like what we got like. Got me so. into British literature. Now this is now here. This is the little town that we're in. What is this town called again? Bibbury. 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 So, Bibbury. We just stopped by the local pub to see if they had room for a few diners tonight, and they do. It's, it's not the busy season yet, I gather. Um, still a little bit too rainy and cold. But look at these places. They're beautiful. They're all... Super cute, super quaint. Everywhere we drive or have seen, it's just all these fun little houses. It's pretty awesome. Anyways, we'll show you our Airbnb. I'm not sure if we'll do it tonight or tomorrow, but it is, it's super cute. Little, little cottage. Okay. All right, this is Bibbury. They've got these really pretty little gardens here. Very idyllic. 
really cool looking hotel. And this, the river, which I think, is this the Thames? Might be the Thames runs through here. Maybe not, actually. I should probably check the map, but just beautiful. Very quaint. Okay, we haven't been filming because sometimes when you get to a really perfect place, you keep waiting because you really want to like film it perfectly. But then we don't film. That happens to us all the time when we're filming. Whenever I'm in a video, that's actually what happens. No, like, it's so perfect. like we never gave a tour of that amazing place that we stayed at in the Sacred Valley of Peru. Yeah. We never did a tour of that place. Huh. And it was one of the most beautiful places we've ever stayed. So here we are talking about where we want to go tomorrow night. And... Um, we still haven't shown our sweet little cottage that we're staying at. This cottage is 15th century. It's incredible. And I will show you now. Here is our amazing, amazing stone cottage. It's so cute. The street is really pretty. It's right across the street from the river. So you walk up. It's just it, for the record, this is built in the 1400s. If you didn't know what 15th century years ago, and there's more cottages up that way. Before America was founded, or found? Yeah, <laughs> they didn't even know that it existed. Before they discover the new world. For the most of the world did not know North America and South America Europe, existed. Europe, where, when the Europeans and the Native Americans had not yet met. Okay, and so it's got these beautiful leaded glass windows, and this adorable. What is those? What are those doors Barters? called? No was just in my head, I forgot. Hey, look, hey, look, and they have a doorbell. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's so loud. <laughs> Welcome to our cozy cottage with its stone walls, beautiful windows, cute little table, cute little kitchen. Also, if you lift this up, there's stone steps down into a little room that's just the size of this kitchen. So cozy though, so pretty. Pretty countertops. And so then there's your fireplace and you head upstairs. So Andrew so found, warm. oh look, there's a photo of it from, I have no idea when, but there it is without all of its, there's a little tree there, but so cute. But so you head upstairs. Out this window. Oh, you can't open it. You can't open it. So pretty. Those, those tiles are beautiful. Mm, yeah, the stone tiles on the roofs are so pretty. And here's our bathroom. It's so cute. <laughs> the shower's right in the middle of the room. You can it's so the great. Bathroom. It's not really a distance from the shower. Yeah, it's awesome. I love it. So very cute use of a very small space. And then this is Andrew's bedroom which is very large, cute brass bed and furniture. That's a nice view. Yeah, pretty view out the windows. Pretty beautiful. That's that um, maple, is so, Japanese maple is so pretty out there in the river. And then we get the top room because Andrew is very nice. You know, it's his senior trip. But he knows that mom loves to take a bath every night. And there's one in the bedroom. So that will be fun. I can't wait to do that tonight after a cold, rainy evening. Watch your head. Oh, yeah, you're right. The beams are right here. <laughs> so very cute. Look, you can see the river down there once again. So pretty. The beautiful roof tiles, the Cotswolds, you guys, are so amazing. It's really hard to capture. <laughs> so we have been so busy with the house renovations, as you guys probably know, that um, Andrew found this. He was, he's been planning this whole trip, and he, and he was like, "Do we have places to stay?" And I'm like, "No." He's like, "Would you like me to do that?" I'm like, "Yes." So he got an Airbnb and found this. I'll put a link down to it below. And I think if you use our Airbnb code, you get like $50 off tonight. I think well, Andrew used our Airbnb link code and set up an Airbnb account. You can't open this window. You just weren't trying to. Oh, okay. So 
our cozy little cottage from 600 years ago. So now we're gonna walk to dinner. Ooh, look at that beautiful one. Isn't it beautiful? This, it's like four stories over there. Beautiful. I'd like to go there. But we're going, so we're in Bibbury. We call it Bilbury. Or I know, we've been calling it Bilbury forever. But look, this dreamy street that we're about to walk up on the way to the pub. It's beautiful, covered in moss. Arlington Row. Look at that up at the end of the road. Beautiful. It's so tiny. That's what makes them so cute. Everybody wants such high ceilings, but if you have high ceilings, you can't have tiny little cottages. Oh, I love them. Dad, go stand in front of these for scale. Yeah, he's eight foot three, so. Oh, I love it. You could like reach to the second story window almost. Like on that one. <laughs> Barnsley Village Festival, Saturday the 13th. There's a village festival this Saturday it's in Barnsley. Well, it's in Barnsley, wherever that is. <coughs> I think that's the one that goes over there, but let's go up. We could, just, we could go up this road. Yes, let's definitely go up this road. Down. Oh yeah, this is actually, this is a short, even shorter path. Oh my gosh. I want to live here. I want to live here. You gotta like the rain. And cats. And knitting. Yeah. And maybe be a witch. This is a beautiful wall here. Right? I can dry fit it together. There's a little mortar there. It's beautiful. Look at this beautiful tree in front of this beautiful Ooh. house. I don't think our word will be cute on this trip. It'll be beautiful. Yeah. <laughs> our overused word. It is beautiful. You hear, that, you hear that pheasant? Yes. I think that pheasant is beautiful. Yeah, it's fun to, because yeah, everywhere cool. has coronation flags and coronation cakes and all sorts of stuff for the coronation. Pheasants are beautiful. I love them. He said it. He used our word. Yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh. Pheasants this hamlet up cute. here. He's so cute. Uh-oh, I used the wrong word. He's so oh. beautiful. Yeah, every time we're driving around in England, we're like, so you just like live in there? Somebody just like lives there. It was that way in France too, though, all the castle walls. It's beautiful. Oh, look at that place. Look how pretty that is. This is where we're getting dinner tonight. Catherine Wheel. Little pub, restaurant type thing. Thank you. Okay. This is it. Perfect. Perfect. We got our food. Andrew has the lamb pie there. Mm -hmm. Try, try like to crack it open. Oh, and ketchup. Megan and I have her fish and chips. It's huge. We should have gotten one to share. You're There's right. Literally eight fish. This looks like a fish in there, doesn't it? <laughs> All right, Andrew. Let's see. What does that look like on the inside? Let's get close. Ooh. Steamy. Yeah. Okay. That is perfect. That looks pretty good. All right. Yum yum. Well, we never ended the video. We were just having too much fun. And then we got too tired. Yeah. <laughs> but that was an amazing day. And now it's another amazing day that we're going to start, but you'll have to come for tomorrow's video to see it. But thanks guys. We love you. And we'll talk to you next time. Bye. Bye.